All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So the Great Saiyan Man story event is finally going to be getting a revamp on Global. And in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick preview or overview of what the event's going to look like after the revamp happens to uh, get you guys fully prepared. Okay, so without further ado, let's just jump right into it. The event is called Go Forth Hero of Justice. You can get a ton of different token awakening medals here, and most of them will go towards awakening various SR Videls and SR Gohans into Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. And there's going to be a brand new tech Great Saiyan Man 2 who token awakens into Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. And uh, we'll talk about what this unit does a little bit later in the video. There's also the SR Great Saiyan Man 1 who used to drop as the R Gohan that Token Awaken into this Great Saiyan Man, but now it just drops as the SR Great Saiyan Man to uh, make our lives a little bit easier. And as far as the release date goes, it's November 6th, 2020, which is tomorrow, but in actuality, it's only like 10 hours away from the time this video drops. And the increased drop category is Movie Heroes, so obviously, if you're farming copies of these units or any of the Awakening Medals, then make sure to use as many Movie Heroes units on your team as possible. Okay, so from there, let's do a quick count of the uh, stones we can get from this event. Obviously, if you guys had completed the event in the past with the revamp, you can re-clear it and get all these stones again. So there's going to be six stages in total and two difficulties per stage and there's one stone per difficulty. So it's 12 stones in total for clearing all the stages. And then there's a few missions where you can get two more stones, one for getting the uh, Great Saiyan Man 2 to Super Attack 10, and then also Token Awakening her. So uh, in total, that's 16 Dragon Stone. Wait, no, uh, 12 plus two, 14 Dragon Stones that can be acquired from the revamped event. And uh, in terms of which units can be awakened from the medals, we got this tech, SR Videl, that Dokkan awakens into Great Saiyan Man 2 with these medals. We got the STR SR Videl, that Dokkan awakens into also Great Saiyan Man 2. We got the AGL uh, SR Gohan, that Dokkan awakens into Great Saiyan Man 1. And also the new free-to-play um, tech, Great Saiyan Man 2, that Dokkan awakens into Great Saiyan Man one and two and that's pretty much it now just in case nobody gets confused they're getting the token awakening medals through stages one two three and four as well as stage six and then you can farm copies of the great Saiyan man one as well as great Saiyan man two on stage five of the event all right so with that out of the way let's uh, check out the details for the new tech great Saiyan man two so pre-awakening our leader skill is special pose category key plus 2, HP, attack, and defense plus 30%. Super attack is supreme damage and lowers attack. And passive is attack and defense plus 60%, medium chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attack. Attacked enemies attack minus 20% for 2 turns. And special pose category allies key plus 1 and attack and defense plus 20%. Links are infighter, battlefield diva, patrol, hero of justice, signature pose, and courage. And categories are peppy gals, macho boo saga. Movie Heroes, Earthlings, and Special Pose. And then once she Dokkan Awakens, she actually becomes an exchange unit, starting off still as Great Saiyan Man 2 and then exchanging into Great Saiyan Man 1. Okay, so leader skill is going to be Special Pose category, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 50%, super attack, supreme damage, lowers attack, and passive is attack and defense plus 80%. Medium chance of evading enemies attack including super attacks, attacked enemies attack minus 20% for 2 turns, special pose category allies key plus 2, and attack and defense plus 30%. And for her active skill is exchange, exchanges into Great Saiyan Man 1, it can be activated when facing only one enemy whose HP is 58% or more, starting from the 3rd turn from start of battle once only. Links in fighter or battlefield diva, patrol, hero of justice, signature pose, Courage and Shattering the Limit, and categories are Peppy Gals, Majin Buu Saga, Movie Heroes, Earthlings, and Special Pose. And then once you exchange into Great Saiyan Man, his super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and passive is key plus two, attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30%, 
when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 10%, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 5% per special pose category ally on the team. Links, Z Fighters, Brainiacs, Patrol, Hero of Justice, Signature Pose, Shocking Speed, and Shattering the Limit. And because his additional attack and defense plus 30% is calculated separately, he gets a maximum boost of attack plus 251% and defense plus 160% when all conditions are met. And obviously, you have to have a full team of special pose units to uh, have that boost, but yeah, when fully maxed out, this guy can be pretty crazy for a free-to-play unit. Obviously, stats are pretty low. 11,083 attack, 11,052 HP, and 6,857 defense at rainbow status. But that's not really a surprise considering he is a free-to-play unit. But as a free-to-play unit, he's definitely one of the uh, better ones out there. And I always love units that give you a choice between more of a you know supporting role or more of a offensive slash tanking role so i'm a big fan of this unit definitely going to be maxing them out as quickly as possible so uh there you go guys that is the story preview not much more to talk about here revamp coming with the start of the thank you celebration later tonight slash tomorrow morning depending on your time zone hope you guys are at least somewhat excited and uh, that's it that's all i gotta say thank you guys so much for watching as always if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.